Shuvo Nabo Mbasho. I acknowledge Sheikh Hawk, the President, Mr. Tushar Roy, the General Secretary, and all the committee members of Bonga Bondu Council of Australia. Lieutenant General Chowdhury, High Commissioner for the People's Republic of Bangladesh, my parliamentary colleagues, distinguished guests, and of course, Bengali Australians. Let me begin by acknowledging and paying my respects to the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the Wongal clan of the Darug language group, and thank them for their continuing contributions to the Sydney community. As the local member for Parramatta, I've thoroughly enjoyed coming along each year to Boshaki Mela. In fact, this is my seventh year and I was here at Olympic Park last year with you. And I'm proud today to be representing the Prime Minister and the recently appointed Minister for Multicultural Affairs, Senator Kate Lundy. Senator Lundy's appointment recognises the importance of multiculturalism to Australia's identity by declaring it a portfolio in its own right. It makes the statement that multiculturalism is not an add-on in Australia. It's well and truly central to who we are. Bengali migrants have contributed significantly to Australian society and continue to do so. As a community, we have a higher than average rate of educational qualifications and most have come to Australia with recognised skills to contribute. And I'm proud to say that Australia was the first Western country to recognise an independent Bangladesh in 1971. So the two countries, Australia and Bangladesh, are bound together by a history, but also by the presence within us of such a strong and viable Bengali community. And when I'm in my electorate, I see up close and personal the extraordinary contribution that the Bengali community makes in many ways, but I'm going to say in the fashion sense as well. I promised last year I would wear the sari, so I am today. I promised next year I did buy a Bengali one, one of those beautiful transparent cotton ones, but when I put it on you could see my tummy. So I chickened out, but I've been watching the way you're wearing them, and I noticed that some of you just fold it a bit so that it disguises the tummy. So next year, Bengali sari. Every year a step up. Every year a step up. Can I congratulate the Bonga Bondu Council for organising this extraordinary event. It's been going for 20 years and every year I come it's better and more fabulous and more confident than the year before. And it's incredibly important to us as Australians. It demonstrates that language can be an extraordinary unifying factor. And I know for the Bengalis in particular, the Bangladesh, in Bangladesh, language is incredibly important because people died for the right to speak it. But for your children here today, taking a culture that they probably experience at home demonstrates that Bengali culture is not something that belongs in a country far away or behind the doors of their homes. It's something that belongs in the very fabric of Australia here in this wonderful event that we're holding today. So thank you very much for letting me join you every year. Thank you very much for opening a tiny window so that I can see into the wonderful cultural traditions that you've brought to this country of ours. And I look forward to next year, not showing my tummy, but in a proper Bengali sari. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, may I now request uh, the Honourable Peter Garner, Federal Minister for School, Education, Early Childhood and Youth to come and speak. Can I too say on behalf of the Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, um, congratulations to uh, the Bengali community for this fantastic celebration of New Year, a recognition of the richness of your culture and the great contribution that you make to Australia. And I too, like the other representatives at federal and state level and very pleased to be able to join you tonight and to the High Commissioner, to Vice Chancellor Chowdhury, uh, to Sheep Hawk and other distinguished guests, to my federal parliamentary colleagues Julie Owens who's just spoken to you, Michelle Rowlands, 
Laurie Ferguson, and to my state colleagues, we very much enjoy coming and spending time with you tonight because we know what a special night it is. A couple of things to leave you with. The first is that we now have over 40 years of constructive diplomatic relations between Australia and Bangladesh. And as you've previously heard, relations that began with Australia recognising the new nation as it emerged. And I'm very proud to be a part of a Labor government that believes that this relationship is very important. The second thing to say is that we are increasing our support in aid and development. We will see an increase over the next six years, uh, which is a significant increase, nearly doubling what we've spent previously. And I'm especially pleased to see organisations like UNICEF and in Bangladesh BRAC receiving that support from Australia to help people uh, in Bangladesh in aid and development. And the final thing is that we are seeing increasing people-to-people -people contacts. We have family members that come and go. We have students that visit, students that learn here and then go back to teach. And as the Minister for Education, I understand how important it is that our young people continue to get the knowledge that they need to fulfil their capacities and that we can share our expertise with students from Bangladesh as well. So thank you for having us. It's an absolutely fantastic night. I'm delighted I could come and attend and I wish you all the very best. Good night. Excellency, Lieutenant General Basukhovin Chaudhry, the High Commissioner of the People's Republic of Bangladesh to Australia to come and speak. President of the Mother Council Australia, General Secretary and all the members of the Executive Committee, ladies, gentlemen and the children present here tonight, May I acknowledge the presence of the distinguished guests that we have on this stage today. Professor Dr. A.K. Azad Chaudhary, Chairman, University Grant Commission, Bangladesh. Professor Chaudhary, congratulations on being confirmed the and thank you so much for coming here. Minister Peter Garrett. Minister, thank you so very much for having you joining us and being Honorable Julio Wells, Federal Member of Parliament representing the Prime Minister and Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Senator Kate Lani. And Julia, I must tell you, you are looking wonderful. Honourable Lord Ferguson, Federal Member of Parliament and Chair of the Australia Bangladesh Parliamentary Friendship Group. A very ardent supporter of the Bangladesh community here in Australia. Laurie, thank you. Honourable Michelle Rowland, Federal Member of the Parliament. Honourable Dr. Chief D, representing the Premier of New South Wales. Robert Farulo, Shadow Minister for Communities and Citizenship, representing Leader of Opposition. NSW, Honorable Barbara Perry, Member of Parliament, Craig Gilliver, representing CEO, Sydney Olympic Park Authority, and Ms. Mandy Wicks, Network Manager, SBS Radio.